Good morning, DFC kids. I am so glad you're here with us today. We have an amazing lesson taught by somebody pretty cool. <laughs> Me. Come on. We're all pretty cool. Isn't that right? I know you're cool. So today we are learning about trusting in God. Jesus trusted in God. We learned about it Wednesday. We're going to learn more about it today. And so I want to do something with you. Okay. Is that cool? Is that cool? I know it's cool. Last week we learned, I, last week I tried something new. I tried to play instruments and you know what? It didn't work out so well, but I had fun. So this week I'm going to try something else. You know, we're learning about trusting in God. So you, sometimes you got to do crazy things when if, when, when you're trusting in God, if God asks you to do some wild things. So we're going to do something wild, okay? Follow me. All right, let's go. here. Can we have somebody turn the air conditioner off? I'm freezing. No. Jesus? I'm sorry, Lord. I did what you said. Man, that that pool was oh, it was fun, but man, oh, I'm cold now. So while I go dry off, y'all go do some action songs, okay? All right, go to Sister Megan. Hey guys, I am so excited that you've joined me today. We're gonna do some action songs together and we're gonna have a great time. The first song that we're doing is Deep Cries Out and you already know it, but I'm gonna go through a few parts of it just to remind you. So stand up, stand up. Come on, stand up with me. If I'm standing, you're standing and do these motions with me. So, ready? I've got a river of living water. Good job, are you remembering now? Awesome. So finally, we're gonna say deep cries out to you, Jesus. Are you ready to worship with us? Let's go.
that was so much fun. See, I knew you would remember it once we got started. This next song that we're doing is so exciting because it gives us even more of an opportunity to worship God and tell Him how much He means to us. Do you guys know that worshiping Jesus is better than life? That's what we're going to talk about this time. Anything that we could have in the whole world doesn't compare to Jesus and how great He is. So we're going to say, better than the riches of this world, better than the sound of my friends' voices, better than the biggest dreams in my heart, and that's just the start. And we're going to keep talking about how great God is, and in the middle we're going to say, I can't stop. Are you ready? Say it with me. I can't stop falling in love with you. Okay, if you're ready, make sure you're standing and come worship God with us one more time. In Matthew chapter 26, Jesus took his disciples to a garden called Gethsemane. And he'd said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. And he took Peter, James, and John 
deeper with him into the garden. And he told them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. And Jesus, going a little further by himself into the garden, fell on his face to the ground and he prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not my will, but your will be done. And then he turned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour, he told them? Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And he went away a second time and he prayed. My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, let your will be done. And when he came back, he found again the disciples sleeping. And so he left them a third time to pray. And again he said, My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, let your will be done. And then he turned back to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, The hour has come, and the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. For Jesus knew that he was about to face his death on the cross. Man, I feel so much better now that I'm all dried off. Ugh. You can turn the air conditioner back on, all right, Jesus? All right, cool. So, did you have fun with action songs? Man, I knew you would. So, because you had so much fun and because she's doing such a great job, let's invite Sister Megan to help me out with the object lesson, all right? Let's give her a hand. Come on, Sister Megan. Hey, everybody. Okay, so I have a question. Okay. Do you trust me? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I think so. But How, what are we about to do here? We'll, 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 we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. How long have you known me? Uh, maybe since we were six. Oh, wow. That's a long time. Quite a long time. So you trust me, though? I think so. Okay. I need you to stretch out your arms like that. Okay. All right. I need them straight. They're straight? No, straighter. Okay. Just a little bit straighter. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, now I need you to act like you're holding a cup. Okay, done. Okay, let's, uh... all right, that's better. All right, cool. So now I'm going to put this cup right here. Okay. I'm going to put this cup right here. Okay. All right, now, how do they feel? Like <laughs> cups. <laughs> you trust me? Yes. Are you sure you trust me? I think so. What's the water for? You thirsty? You know, I'm just a little thirsty, but you know, we're going to make this interesting. So. Okay. You still trust me? I'm thirsty too. <laughs> <laughs> you, still, you still trust me? Yes. All right. So I am going to take this cup. Okay. All right. Now on the count of three. I want you to do this. I want you to put put the cup on your head. Put it. <laughs> okay. I want you to close your eyes as tight as you can go. That's pretty tight. Okay. And then I want you to spin around in circles, okay? Like this. So I want you to spin around in circles. All right? Okay. All right. On the count of three. All right? These clothes are just... Really on the count of three. You ready? Yep. One. Two. You trust me, right? Yes. Okay. okay. I think so. One. Two, three. When can I stop? When I say so. Okay, you can stop. Whoa. You look a little dizzy there, huh? Just a bit. <laughs> you ready to run? No. Okay. 
You trust me, right? Yes. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, hold the cup out again. Okay. On the count of three, we're going to tip this cup over our head. Uh, what? <laughs> That's what? You trust me, right? Okay. On the count of three, we're going to tip this cup over our head. Okay. All right? And you're not going to get wet. What? Well, I'm not going to get wet, that's for sure. You ready? Uh, okay. One, two, three. <gasps> what? What? Look oh, at my that. Word. Isn't that cool? That's crazy. No water. How did that work? No water. I told you. I told you. Okay. If you trust in God. He always comes through. He always comes through. All right. Magic. All right. Well, here. We'll, we'll, let's get to the lesson now. Let's go. Wow, wasn't that so cool, kids? Like, the water seemingly just disappeared. It wasn't there anymore. Were you surprised like I was surprised? If you weren't, man, you, you must see in the future or something. Because I did not see that coming. So, the water disappeared. Even though Sister Megan thought water was going to pour under her head, the water was gone. And, you know, sometimes God does that. You know, when, if you trust in him, if you, if you keep going forward, when God tells you to keep going forward, now pay attention. When, I, when God tells you to keep going forward and you trust in him and you keep going forward, he'll protect you. Now, I'm not saying every time you keep going forward that God's going to protect you because sometimes he's telling you to stop. But that's why it's important to pray. But you need to pray, and if you feel like God is telling you to, keep, to, to do something, then do it. You see, there was this one time I remember when, when I, was at a, I was at a gas station, and there was this guy who was just standing over on the side, and I felt God tell me, to go and talk to him. I felt God to tell me to go and tell him about my God. And I did. And you know what? That man told me that he needed to hear that. In fact, that man started crying. And he even came to church. You see, when, when you do the things that God tells you to do, when you, when you act out in faith, God helps you. You see, I was scared because I didn't know this guy. You know, I don't, I don't necessarily, I didn't feel like, I was nervous about how he would receive what I was trying to tell him. You know, have you ever been scared about telling somebody, even if it's the best thing in the world, and you get nervous because you're like, what are they going to think? What are they going to believe? But I went and told him anyway. And you know what? He needed it. And God knew he needed it. And he used me to help him. You see, and God can do the same thing for you. You see, if, if you step out in faith on what God's telling you to do, he'll protect you all the way through. You see, the story that we told about Jesus in the garden of that cool word, let's say it again, Gethsemane. Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane when he was praying, he was praying because he knew what he was about to have to do. And if you don't know what he was about to have to do, Jesus was about to go die on the cross. You see, he knew what was coming. You see, you've heard people tell you that Jesus died on the cross for you and for me. And next week, we're going to learn about that. Whether it's up here at the church or we're going to put a video and you're going to learn about that. That Jesus died on the cross for you. But before that, Jesus was praying about it. And, and you heard his prayers. You see, he didn't necessarily want to do it. He even asked God, he said, if you will take this from me, take it. But if I have to do it, God, I will do it for your will. Now, some of you may wonder, you're asking, well, isn't Jesus God? Well, yes, Jesus is God. But as, as the son of God, Jesus was on this earth. He was both fully a human being like me and you, and he was fully God. And he was trying to be an example for all of us. That's why we teach you about him a lot. Because he did a lot of things that we need to do. And one of those things was praying. You see, he prayed to God to show us that we need to pray to God. And in specifically, 
in this story, he prayed to God and told God that, you know, I may not want to do this, Lord. It's not, it doesn't seem, I'm scared. But Lord, I will do it for you. If this is your will, I will step out on faith. I will step out on trust and do it because I know you'll bring me through it. And you know what? He rose again. You know what? He, God brought him through it. All of his doubts. It's okay to doubt. It's okay to have fear. It's okay to be scared sometimes or not know. But you can't let that stop you from doing what God is asking of you. Okay? So this week, that's what I want you to take away. I want you to know that as you pray, if you know that God is telling you to do something, do it. Pray and ask God to protect you and to to, to be there with you, but do it. Step out on faith. If you think God is telling you to tell somebody about him, to tell somebody about what he's done, go and do that. If you think God is asking you to pray for somebody, pray for them, okay? Do what Jesus wants. Do what God wants. Do his, if, you, if you walk in his will, it will always be protected. You see Psalms 28 and verse 7 says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him. You see, if you don't think that you're strong enough, it's okay. Just pray and God will be that strength. If you don't feel like you're protected, if you feel scared, if you feel nervous, like no one's there to help you, God is your shield. He can protect you from anything. Just trust in him. Trust in him. So right now we're going to pray, okay? And I know all of you have prayer requests. So if you have something that you really want us to pray about, I want you to leave it in the comment section, okay? And we'll pray about it for you. So right now, I want you to get with whoever's with you. If it's a brother, if it's a sister, if it's a cousin, if it's a friend, if it's your mom and dad, get them and let's pray, okay? We're gonna pray and we're gonna pray about what you want and we're gonna pray about Jesus to help us and to protect us, and that we trust in him, okay? All right, so let's lift our hands. Remember, we lift our hands when we pray. And I want you to close your eyes. Now, if you're with somebody, it's okay to put your hand on their shoulder. Lord, we come to you today. God, because there's, there's so many things in this world right now that 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 are scary god there's so many things in this world that are happening right now jesus and there's a lot of people that are scared but god we trust in you you see there's sickness in this world lord there's there's the the coronavirus that's going around jesus but but we trust in you lord and we know god that you're you're our help we know lord that you're our strength lord we know that you're you're our shield jesus and that no matter what we can trust in you, Lord. God, in each and every house in Dallas, Lord, the, the kids and the, the parents and the people that are watching this video, Lord, as we're praying together, Lord, I pray let your spirit enter in to those houses, Lord, that they may be able to trust in you, Jesus. God, just as you showed us as you prayed, Lord, just as you showed us, Lord, to submit, Lord, and to trust and to put our faith in you, we're doing that right now, God. Lord, I trust in you. I love you, Jesus. I worship you, God. And I know, Lord Jesus, that you can protect me from anything, Lord. Jesus, I I pray, Lord, as as these kids throughout this week, Jesus, Lord, that you would would be there with them, God, that you would show them, Lord, what you want them to do, God, as they pray to you. Help them, Jesus, as as they seek after you. Let them find you, Jesus. And God, as they tell people, about you and as they pray for people, God. Lord Jesus, be with them, God. I thank you, Jesus, for who you are. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing in this church, Lord. I thank you, God, for your spirit in each and every house right now, Jesus, in Dallas. 
Lord Jesus. I pray for the families. I pray for their friends, Lord Jesus, that, that you be there with them, God, that you help them, that you let your spirit be revealed to them, God, as they're seeking, Lord. We know that you are king. We know that you are our savior. We know that you are our stronghold, Jesus. Lord, every word of God is true. Jesus, we know, Lord, who you are. God, and I thank you, Jesus. I worship you, Jesus. I magnify you, Jesus. Lord, let your will be done in this earth. Let your will be done in this church. In Jesus' name right now. Amen. Thank you so much for watching with us this week. I hope you were blessed. I hope you learned something new. And remember that Jesus trusted in God and so should we. Okay? So I want to say that I love each and every one of you. I'm thanking and praying for you every day. And I hope that you're praying for each other and you're praying for me too. So I love you. I can't wait to see you again. I can't wait for church to be back. All right? So have a good day. Have a good Sunday. Tell your parents you love them and follow their directions. If they tell you to do something, please do it. Okay? Just obey. It's easier that way. And it's better for you. And it's just the right thing to do. Okay? All right. I'll see you later. Bye.